You can't get everything right. <laughs> Please welcome the hitman himself. It's Pete Waterman. <laughs> yeah. So, Pete, there we are. So, Simon was your prodigy. Well, yeah. I'll set the blame. No, I'll, take, no, I'll actually take the credit. He's, 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 he's OK, Simon. Yeah. And what, how did that all start? He came and worked for you, didn't he, for a couple of he years? Just, a yeah, he just drove us mad. He wanted to learn the business and, you know, Simon's amazing. I mean, he, yeah. there's very few people I've ever met with that much drive and determination. And really? Yeah. Him and Kylie are the only two people I've ever met with that much determination. Gosh, you'd never expect somebody to compare Kylie and Simon Cowell, would you? But I suppose in terms of drive... Well, they've be, yeah. both yeah. been around a long time, yeah. and they've both stayed, of course. Is Simon as short as Kylie? No, Simon's <laughs> a lot taller. All oh, right, OK. So we know he's quite little. Especially yeah. in them heels. In <laughs> Especially <laughs> in those trousers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. um, now, if you've ever taken a photo with one least hit, would you concede that if the changes hadn't been made, it wouldn't have been a hit? I can, I can honestly say that had it not been for those changes and the fact that the chorus does leap out and all these, all the things I probably hate about it, are probably all the reasons why it was a hit, yeah. I won't let the sun go down. It's nice, that kind of acoustic version, but I think you only like it because you know how the pop song yeah, sounds. that's true, you know that's I mean? true. Uh, so, Pete, you were one of those producers that Nick was talking about. Yes, I was the one that he reviled for making, yes. it, making it hit. Yeah. He didn't talk to me for absolutely years and years. And uh, What, because of the changes yeah, that you I mean, made? In... I mean, he's, he would do a concert and wouldn't, wouldn't sing it. He refu uh, refused to sing it, you know, and... Um, our job was a, a, as record producers, my partner and I were a guy called Peter Collins, because we signed uh, Nick because we thought he had these great songs and great lyrics. And, um, yeah, it is about the end of the world, but you don't have to yeah. cry. Mm. You know, it's, it's got to end at some point. Does that have happy memories for you when you hear that song or not? Oh, yeah, because, yeah, because you know, we really believed in, in, yeah. in, in, in Nick. And later on, we just produced Musical Youth and we just had the biggest record in the world with Pastor Duchy. So we were in L.A. Oh, yes, <gasps> great. Right. Is that one of yours? Yeah, too? You've yeah. got them all, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> and we were in L.A. and I played uh, Quincy Jones, Nick. Uh, and uh, he was doing Michael Jackson at the time. Yeah. So Quincy gave us um, a, a part of his studio time to record to do the brass on Wouldn't It Be Good, which yeah. is probably the one song that everybody still plays of, of Nick's to this day. Great lyricist, Nick, and great mm. chords. I mean, he wrote a song about Darwin's theory of evolution. I mean, who writes a pop song about Darwin? <laughs> but it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well, you've signed a lot of talent over the years, and your life and career will be celebrated at the Royal Festival Hall, 29th of July, isn't it? Yes. Uh, a Life in Song. They did it with Tim Rice last year. So people will sing your hits, yep. and you will talk. Michael Grade will interview you. You'll do some stories. Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, Michael, well, because he's he, he's a sort of big hero for me. I mean, his family run the music industry and the entertainment industry. Great, you know. So you, yeah. I yeah, grew up it's... watching something like the London Palladium. Yeah. And then I'm with that. You know, it's amazing. Really. Yeah. Well, it'd probably be quite odd. I want to interview your... him, really. Well, you could. <laughs> I'm sure you Just will. turn it around. Yeah, I would. Um, so some of the stories you'll do are about how you discovered, presumably, some of this talent. And Rick Astley is a really good story, isn't it? Just yeah. tell us how you found him. Well, I um. I had a best friend who lived in Newton Willows, and uh, he invited me to see this band. And I'd seen a band called FBI right. at uh, Haydock Racecourse for a, you know, a Newton Willows Christmas festival. And uh, I went home in in January. And I, I was really ill. I was really poorly with a flu, serious flu. And uh, flu. Yeah, no, no, serious, <laughs> no, serious <laughs> flu. Yeah, yeah. This was serious flu. I I, I, I literally did go to bed. But I, I wouldn't let this guy down, so he put this, um, these acts on at Monks' Social Club in, <laughs> right. in, in Warrington. I turned up in this brand-new Ferrari. You, imagine, you can imagine um, Monks' Social Club, and these acts went on. I really was ill, and he put this band on, and there was this little singer at the front, little guy with ginger hair, who I thought was just memorising. Like, he reminded me of Van Morrison, the way he had these awkward moves, but with this great voice. So I said to Dave, that was a guy, Dave, I said, Dave, 
you can forget the band, but he's got a job. He's the one. And in yeah. fact, uh, he came back to me and he went on a youth opportunity training program. So I put him on 40 quid a week and he used to come down on a, a Monday with me or a Friday, we'd go home. And he was, a, he was, we, you know, he was a tape up. He, he, he effectively learnt the business. So there were all these wonderful stories that came out from Banana Rama and all these people having hits that their tape up had gone to number one all over the world. You know, not quite true, but it sounded a good story. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, it's worth a trip to come and see this because I mean, there's just some remarkable stories that go on and on and on. The fact you, you couldn't you couldn't read or write until you were in your thirties is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. fantastic. Um, now, I know it's, it is unbelievable, isn't it? It's a good move. Um, well, it's 79 years ago to the... Mm. Mm. Surrealism. <laughs> what do you make of it, Al? Well, it makes sense to me, Matt. Pete? Not sure it makes sense to me. <laughs> well, things may just get a bit more surreal in a minute because mm. Angela Rippon is having a silent disco on her own <laughs> over there. <laughs> And uh, she's dancing to one of your tracks, Pete. Yeah. But by the moves, can you guess which track it is? We'll give you some options. It's either uh, Tragedy, Steps, OK? Or is it Venus, Bananarama? Or is it I Should Be So Lucky, Kylie Minogue? Can I'll you tell? You tell? Bananarama. You think Bananarama? Let's uh, turn up the volume. Oh. There you go, he's got it! Absolutely, there she is. Angela ripping up the dance floor. Very good, Angela. Well, I'll, I'll get you a drink in a minute, oh, love. I've got to Sit pull yourself the fish down. off Sit yourself and down. knocking me in the face. Right. Well now, done, Angela. Uh, here's a tricky one. OK, listen up, everybody. What does Northumberland have in common with Eastern Australia? Well, Joe Crowley has... Oh, now, earlier on, we asked you for four tours, uh, if you've met any of Pete's artists. Here we are, Sarah. She met Rick Astley recently after his concert in Sydney. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, he's Mark and his girlfriend, Lucy, who met Kylie on a train, appropriate for you there, Pete. <laughs> Not on a train to London, there we are. Uh, Paul and Lloyd with Steps, just before they performed at the O2 there. Look, this one's an absolute winner. You're all on here. This is Tony, who stood next to you. Um, Flicked There you him. are, Pete, look. And then yeah. uh, Rick Astley oh, Rick and Mandy Smith. There. There's, yeah. a, there's a trip down memory there. Brilliant. And uh, Angie Great. from the West Midlands who met Pete on her wedding in 2004. Oh. oh. Now, the question oh. is, which one is Jason Donovan? Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's all for today. Thanks to Angela <laughs> and to Pete. Good luck with your Life in Song event at the Royal Festival Hall, the 29th of July. Tickets available now. Yeah, tomorrow, don't miss me and Patrick Keelty.